Hello everybody, it's Jennifer with creativecricketdesigns.blogspot.com and today we're going to be working on a 12 by 12 layout for Christmas. <clears throat> and I used several, several cartridges for this layout and I also used a silhouette cut which is basically my title which you could redo with your Gypsy or Cricut Craft Room um, and one of your font cartridges. So I used the Elegant Edges cartridge for this cut which I did the shadow fit to page and it is the swirl number two and it's cut at ten and a half inches it's going to go on the center of my page so we're going to go ahead and just get that adhered okay the green and red cardstock I got or that I'm using today is from one second it is yeah this the Merry Christmas stack by die cuts with a view I believe yep okay and then I have this red piece that's gonna go at the bottom Cut it seven inches by twelve. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get that adhered. Just gonna line it up at the bottom and the edge, and then follow it across. Okay, so then we have that, and then my piece that's just going to kind of be a separator is this paper, and it will go right there, and this one I got, where did I get that from, from this color box, um, pattern paper stack. Oh, I think I got this at Target. I'm, I'm almost positive I got it at Target. In like the dollar bin. I got two of them. So these are the two that I got. So I'm just going to put this kind of as a little separator. Separate my page. Okay, and then that's just going to go ahead and go right on along the top middle kind of <laughs> alright then we have that and then trying to think I have this little cutout which the red piece is two and a half by two and an eighth and I took this out of the die cuts with a view um, Xmas or Christmas combo stack and it's just like a little piece that you just cut out and then I matted it with red cardstock just to put in my corner over here so that will go there I cut out two trees I gotta be able to get them here and my trees are cut from the Christmas cheer cartridge. I have one cut at two inches, one cut at one and three quarter inches. And I'm just going to kind of go on my page, but I'm going to stick them together. And I'm just kind of up at the top. like that and then I have my Christmas stockings 
which I cut from the Christmas cheer cartridge. And I have them all, five of them, because I have four kids and a dog. So they all have their little stockings. So these are cut at two and three quarters, and they are in the Christmas cheer on page 35. So I cut the stocking and then shift or layer and I cut the top pieces. So I'm going to kind of try to figure this out as we go here. Because I have my bow and actually for these when you cut out the white piece it also cuts out this little thumbtacks if you wanted to use them. This is what they look like. So it looks like it's actually pinned to your fireplace or man, you know, fireplace mantle or wherever you hang them. I just hang them on a ledge at my house because I don't have a fireplace. And they're gonna go something like this. And I'm actually gonna try to just hang them straight across. But I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do that part. I think I'm just going to foam tape the back of them and then lay them down. It's going to go right on the end. And I'll cut the excess off. Okay, like that on that one. Cut this one off. And then the glue from the glue dot will hold it down. So I'm not worried about it. Let's make my bow a little bit smaller. And actually, what I used is I used this. Burnett Handicrafter Holidays, I don't even know what it is. It's like yarn, but it's super duper soft. It's cotton, cotton yarn. I got it at Joann's, and I don't think it was very expensive at all. So I'm just kind of using that instead of twine, because it's cheaper. And it is thicker, but for my for what I use it for, for layouts and stuff, I think it's fine. I still have my twine. I'm still going to use my twine, but I just figured this would be perfect for Christmas stuff. Okay, so that that's that part of it. Then I have a photo of my daughter from last year standing by the stockings. She's covering up the dogs. So we're going to go ahead and get that adhered on here. And I just kind of used a um, matting background. Of the red and greens that are in the stockings. Okay. And then I have a couple of presents that I cut out from the Create a, Create a Critter cartridge. And these are cut at, let's see, one and a half, one and a quarter, and one. And they're just going to go down here on my page. So I'm just going to use some ATG on that. I wish I had more of this green instead of the darker green, but that's what I had available. Try not to buy more stuff. Christmas is coming. We've got to save money for the presents. Okay, so I have that. And then what I'm going to do is I have my stockings title that I cut using my silhouette. It was a font or whatever, a phrase that I had. So we're going to go ahead and get it attached. Oh, 
Okay, so we have our whole entire title put on there. And that is the full layout for today. So I thank you very much for watching and hope you have a great day.